JT Romuto has three hits in his last 12 games. He's batting 083. 0.083 in his last 12 games. Trey Turner ends the month of May by hitting 207. Phillies finished 10 and 16 in the month of May. I I don't see an end in sight simply because it's June. I don't see any reason for optimism. Here's your only reason. Like if you're really again grasping at straws is that Trey Turner has been a better baseball player than this. Kyle Schwarber has been a better baseball player than this. Aaron Nola, Zach Wheeler, Taiwan Walker, Ranger Suarez. They've been better players than this. They can't be this bad forever, right? That'd be insane. They'll turn it around at some point. Well, sure, but then maybe that's Nick Cassianos and Bryce Harper's time to slump. I mean, if you if you want to just say for no reason that this team can all of a sudden play better, well, they can also play worse because we were watching – to the first month of the season, Trey Turner bat 260. And we're like, ah, I can't get any worse. 207. It got 60 points worse. It got way worse. Very worse. <laughs> That's, uh, when, and I've said this before, but when a baseball team's bad, man, your summer sucks. It just drags and drags. And I know we had a little bit of a break there because the Sixers, we were paying attention to the Sixers and the Eagles with the draft and the, Phillies come out, and they're still uh, another slow start. Five games under 500 in the first two months of the season. They get Bryce Harper back, and they're a worse baseball team. They get a more productive productive player uh, in their lineup, and they're worse. And pitching has been more consistently bad than it's been consistently good. And last night was no exception. And if you look at last night's game, oh, my goodness. <clears throat> Give me a little bit of hope that – the optimism you have for June is warranted. Philly's unable to do that. 